Brittany, thanks so much. Live pictures right now of 95 at Kinsley Ave in Providence. We often show you this camera live here at 4, but this is the area where you can expect a new traffic pattern starting tomorrow night. As part of the viaduct project, the DOT is shifting the high speed lane onto the new bridge. That part of the highway is already, as you likely know, a congested area and it may get worse, at least temporarily. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to the head of the DOT today about the changes. She joins us now with how that will all impact your commute. Well, Brian and Kim, if you're driving along 95 North and you're in the high speed lane, you will not be able to access the state offices exit or the 146 exit starting tomorrow night. That's because the DOT is shifting that high speed lane onto the new bridge in the overnight hours. The first phase of a new traffic pattern will begin Friday night to allow the Department of Transportation to demolish the old decaying Providence Viaduct going northbound. The area will be very well signed. We will have signs up directing uh, people to the proper lanes. We ask you to pay attention. This rendering shows what the signage will look like. The shift happening before the old exit 22 toward downtown Providence and Route 6. Another shows how the pattern will change. Cars coming northbound in the high speed lane will be forced to go on the new bridge sandwiched between the existing and southbound bridges. The shift happening in the overnight hours Friday and will be in place Saturday morning. The next two weeks all of the traffic will be on the new bridge making way for us to make improvements to the in interchange and change the uh, ramp configuration. That configuration includes the headache Rhode Islanders know all too well at the state office's exit alongside the mall. If you got in the high speed lane and need to access the 146 or state office's exit, here's what you need to know. If you're in the high speed lane by accident, you'll need to take the Branch Avenue exit and kind of loop back through the city streets to the state offices. And like the director was saying, by the end of this month, all of the lanes going northbound here on 95 will be shifted onto that new bridge, which is sandwiched between the two southbound and northbound lanes. That way they can demolish the old one. Live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.